A welcome back, loyal subjects of funk, to this Let's Funking play, and it's uh, Jack the Ripper, the point and click adventure game. I kind of forgot what the actual official name is, but hey, I'm still drinking this a lovely pint of Guinness. And we are on the way to the police station to tell them exactly what this woman who is a clairvoyant who thinks that she can see ghosts and all that billy bollocks. And uh, we're going to tell them that there's going to be a murder before there's actually a murder. White Chapel Police Station. Great. I've found the place at last. That's right. You're going to look like an idiot woman. So let's... Uh, actually, before we go inside, we'll have a, a, a mosey about. Make sure that there's nothing that we can't use to our advantage out here. It appears there is nothing. So let's get the funktastic inside. We'll just go up, right up and talk to him. A terrible murder is going to happen tonight in George Yard. Oh yeah, and who is about to commit this? <laughs> exactly what I thought. I'm not sure. I've seen it in a dream. You stupid woman. A terrible murder by a man using a huge knife. You must listen to me. In a dream, yeah, right. You're out of your mind, woman. Told you, you stupid woman. And he's right as well. I don't know why I'm travelling with her. It's hard to believe, but please listen to me. There is a terrible evil coming to Whitechapel. <sighs> Just remember, I did warn you. Okay. Chapter two: Bad news. Another murder in Whitechapel. This time a woman called Martha Tabram. Yeah, Savagely Martha Tabram, just like I said in the last uh, episode. A serious piece of journalism to get my teeth into. I'll type up a draft of the story so far, then head off to the crime scene to take some photographs. <sighs> Martha Tabram was not a, a, a Jack the Ripper victim. She was murdered, murdered by... A soldier, most likely, by the sounds of it. As somebody even attributed the marks in her abdomen to a bayonet. So let's just uh, head the funk out, shall we? Uh, uns cats and tins and cats. Right, there's definitely nothing in this room that can be used. Oh, is there? What's that there? Okay! Ah, I'm a genius, I knew it. That was all that we could get from that. Of any use whatsoever. You told me. Ah, oh, I've got the key because I'm an idiot. Right, let's go. Oh, one of these point and click adventures again. A wretch. Why is there a flag of Jamaica there? And would Jamaica have had its own flag at this period in time? as part of the British Empire. Paper. Button hook. We're actually missing a moth. A screwdriver, which is right there. There's more there's garlic everywhere in this. There's even garlic in that street on the last uh, episode. Wonder if these bits on top, yeah, we can take the bits from the top, which is always nice. It was me thinking that it was all locked up in a... Inside, instead of being able to be outside as well. I mean, this sort of puzzles have very little to do with Jack the Ripper, and I think they've just put them in simply as a, a way of clarinet. Simply as a way of... Um, Finding things for the uh, the player to do. Because the moth is going to prove an absolute bugger to find. I can see it now. I can't actually see the moth. I mean, I can foresee how hard it's going to be to find the moth. Oh, there it is. Always a nice one. Uh, apparently a horse is needed. Apparently some ink is needed. Um. And that'll be that there, wouldn't it? Apparently not. 
Must want a, a full bottle of brand new ink. Full bottle of... Ah, there we go. That's the ink that we're looking for. And we still need a twine, a knot and a hat pin. That's the twine. And then we need the knot. That's the hat pin. And the knot. I have a, a sturdy looking screwdriver. Let's just go through the items that we've got. I need to get this uh, story draft done before I can leave the office. So actually playing as individuals. And at the moment we are playing a journalist. And in Jack the Ripper, journalists are notorious assholes. I mean, they're the people that invented the name Jack the Ripper. And why are they the ones that invented the name Jack the Ripper? Because they're the ones that sent the fake Ripper letters, aren't they? Well, that's so the theory goes. I mean, it could have been anyone. But if the, uh... If the media needed... If the media needed, um a name to sell their story. Well they certainly got it in the in uh, the way of Jack the Ripper, didn't they? There we go. Darn it. Someone's been fooling with my typewriter. Switch some of the keys around. Gonna have to put them back before I can use it. Dumb practical jokers. Alright mate. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Right, okay. Let's swap M with R and then K with a Y. And do you know how I know all the answers to this? I think you know why I know all the answers to this. Because it's right in front of me on my keyboard. Swap those two out. There we go. Absolutely bang on the dust cap it out. We have repaired the old typewriter. Right then, we've done that. We've done that bit. Alright, the draft's done. Now I can find my camera and some negative plates before I head off to the crime scene. So that's in here we're going. We got the, uh, the plates. Now we just need the camera. My trusty old camera. I'll take this with me. That's it, I believe. We've got everything. Let's roll. That's a good guess. To use the map. The White Hart Pub. Oh, there's nothing like a good pub. The White Hart Pub. The murder happened just along the alleyway from here in George Yard. We'll head round to George Yard and see what the funk's at. Oh, we've been here before, haven't we? Right, okay, well, let's let's look down. Oh, we've got one of these puzzles again. Chain. We need two chains actually, and the both here, and an apple, and a peanut, and we need somebody's laughing. We need a butterfly. We need um, some paint. Apparently, but I'm not quite sure what constitutes as a bottle of paint on this. Do we need a pipe? There's a nice smoking implement there. There's the paint. So it's one of the old classic squeeze tube paints. We need some weights, some dumbbells. Can anybody see some dumbbells knocking about? That was a cog. We need a tarot card, which may be hidden right there. We need a box of matches, which that isn't a box of matches. But there'll be one lying about here. A box of matches is always essential for a smoking implement. We need a cherub, some humbugs, and a hoop. we got the humbugs. This is good. We're gonna have to keep our eyes really peeled because oh, we we'll get the hoop. Um, 
because it could be hidden on the wall just like any other thing in this game which is uh, extremely annoying there's the matches and now we just need the weights we got the cherub as well there which was uh, <laughs> very lucky so what sort of weights are we looking for those sort of weights I'll take this box of matches Hmm, tarot cards, unusual to find lying around here. Rosa! Nothing to see here, sir. Please move along. It's the same guy who was warned about the murder. I'm from the Star newspaper and need access to the murder scene to do my story. <sighs> That's the last thing we need. The Whitechapel gutter press spreading this all over the front pages. He's right. Now on your way before I arrest you. <laughs> right, so, oh, we've got another one of these, and we've been here before. And this time, the things that, this was in the first video, the things are actually completely different uh, items to this time. So let's go ahead and start picking up some of these. What's a, a cameo? United States flag. These little flags are all over the spot and they're actually quite irritating because it just looks like they've added them in because they've got nothing to do. Right, so we need a, a lace bobbin. And we got the bird skull. We need a, a heart, a cork, a coin. We also, there's the cork. Look like it was part of this implement here. So I didn't get it first time. Do we need a feather? No. Is that coal? Yeah. Uh. Pad on, let's get the letter. Because that's an easy one. And that's the ring. And the bracelet, which we've got before in a previous uh, version of this little uh, scene. Mmm. There's the cameo and the uh, pry bar, which is this, which we'll need for the. Uh... Do you know what? I'm gonna hit the old hint button. That's the lace bobbin. I was hoping it would show me where the heart was. That's all right. We'll just have to find a heart. Can't be hard to find, can it? Unless it's hidden against the wall or something. You can never be too... Oh, that's, that's the heart. Strange uh, sort of heart. I, I was looking for more of a... You know, a bloody swelling organ sitting on the floor. But that was not the case. And we have pried it off. An old lamp still filled with oil. Now... What can we do here? Can we... I, I, I know. Are we trying to make... A distraction so we can get into the... Uh, we can get into the murder scene. So exactly... Yeah, exactly what I was thinking. Quick, officer! There's a fire outside the White Hart pub. Some vandals have set fire to one of the street carts. But it's those deadbeats that hang around the alleyways at night. Yes, I should check it out, though. By the way, there's no point you hanging around. This place is all locked up. I know, sir. That's a dead sir. Just running past the old pub. Ah, here we go, the pair of players. Like, surely you would collect that first, I would have thought. Copper's not there anymore though, so. Oh, there we go. Here we go. I'm in. Um, and what's, what do we have to do here? Rotate them, line them up to pick the lock. This is uh, really hard by the looks of things.
Really difficult by the looks of things. So we're going to have some trouble here for a short amount of time. Ah! There we go! That's it, we've done it! Okay, we've done it. it. Takes a little bit of time for the game to really catch up, doesn't it? we we'll sort of be sitting there like idiots for a while. Somebody's carved number 13 into the doorway. And the blood stains uh, where the body was. You should take photographs for the newspaper. Go on then. This will make a great story. Just need to get these photos developed and that will do it. Good stuff, my man. So let's go and get the photos developed. Put the camera back. Photograph ready to be developed. Right, so we need the chemical to drop in first. I don't suppose the chemical is in this room, is it? Go away, red. Arrow. Ah. Back to the old usual of um, taking objects from here. And we shall take. Doesn't need an old service revolver, do you? Ah, a pistol. A horseshoe. Uh, a calipers. A fork. An old watch, which I seen earlier when I tried this, was hanging around. But come across it, don't worry. Skizzers times two. Well, the next we need the next bit of skizzers. Horse shoe, which is right there. Do we need a medal? No, a bottle of developer. A fishing reel. Where's the bottle of developer, if you do not mind, sir? A magnifier. A bust. A pair of scissors times two. Fantastic. An old watch is what we need next. Does that count as an old watch? Certainly doesn't, because we're looking for a pocket watch. This is actually becoming interesting. Where's the apple at as well as the apple? Where's the developer behind it? Just what we need. Floor de lease. And where's the floor de lease? And the old watch. Everyone keep their eyes peeled for the old watch. Uh, oh, we'll just hit the old hints. Oh, there we go. On the wall. Nice. No, I thought it was going to be something like, funny like that. And we'll get back to the old chemical processing plant. Can we put the developer in a, a different one? Yeah. Put that in the developer. You've developed a photograph. There we go. I think that's us done. The chemical fixer. Right, first photo developed, now let's uh, take a look. Match the photographs with their corresponding negatives. So 
So let's get this party on the road. And hopefully this will be nice and Jesus with the monkeys up. We need to be going a little bit faster than this guys. Otherwise it's gonna end in tears for us. Shit, 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 shit. We've lost this one. I can't see where to put that at all. This is ridiculous. Where's the hand? Excellent. Just in time by the look of it. Excellent. So we're going to examine it. Alright. I've noticed those symbols on the ground when I uh, took the photograph. There appears to be some magical or mystical symbols. But I didn't see any signs of the symbols when I was at the crime scene. So how can they be in the photograph? Hmm. Wonder if I should include them in my article or not. It's an interesting thing, my friend. Chapter 3, the 13th sign. Mm -hmm.